and welcome back to another one. We did one last year where we said dump your fire stick. And one of the things that uh, we did talk about, and let me fix this lighting here on this thing. Um, we did say dump your fire stick because this is better. Um, now, I will have to be just for transparency because some people might say like, well, this is the thing that doesn't work. Um, the one and only app that will not have the 4K quality content would be Netflix. Other than that, everything else works. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what this is. This is the most powerful, like literally, there, it, it's, there's so much stuff in this thing. And we're talking about the VidStick Max. Um, this thing, it is absolutely insane. So check this out. And I mean, absolutely check this out. This is nuts. So it is running Android 9. You don't really need Android 10. Android 9 is working beautifully. Android 10 has a lot of bugs. Um, so I'm, I'm great with Android 9. 4K Ultra HD, you get four times CPU, five times CPU power, 128 gigs of internal storage with four gigs of DDR4 RAM, which is great. Um, you got your dual band Wi Fi's, you got your micro SD, you can expand it. You know what? Let's just open this thing up because I'm, yeah, I'm not going to just read the box here. So, first off, is look at that design i absolutely love the design you have this thing here at the top you get your user's manual the this thing is just amazing and then of course this is where your device is here is the vid stick max now look at that i love the design um you got plenty of oxygen here so plenty of holes for it to breathe you got your dc at the bottom, you got your USB 3.0, TF card slot, everything that you want on this thing works. Now, when it comes to other devices, other sticks, you don't get all these types of features. You normally get your power and that's it. Then you have to buy an adapter, a dongle to split your power to get something like this. This is separate and it's built onto it plus your TF card slot, which is amazing. Now, again, some of the packaging that these guys have is just really, really good. Um, you get a couple things here as your power supply, your controller, and a velvet bag, which is good. You get a little gift there, and your extended IR sensor receiver thing here. So it's 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 great. So first thing here is again your power supply. Look at this thing. You get your your and I, again I love how they add little things like this. This is where you're gonna put the USB, Buzz TV, and this is your power. So great, great stuff there. Now, if you keep opening at the bottom, you're gonna get some different ones just in case you're in other parts of the world, then you could use this pretty much anywhere worldwide. Now for me with some of the packaging, just to let you guys know, they do have some of these little dividers um, just to keep a couple things separate. It might like, I, I do appreciate it. It might be a little too much though, cause then you're just left with a lot of trash afterwards. Um, but some people really do like it. I think it's okay um at least they take a lot of pride it's not like your chinese box where they just throw everything on the bottom but check this out you get a velvet bag which i think is awesome that way you could travel with it um and if you don't want to use it for traveling you want to keep it for home you could just use this for whatever you want so that's awesome to have now here is your usb extender or i'm sorry your hdmi extender i personally like when you get stuff like this because i always say don't leave the stick right on your tv because you could get some kind of interference. I usually use this, even for fire sticks, I use the extender, I plug it in, and now I have some kind of separation between my TV, my wall, and the stick. So I could place it wherever I want, which is really, really good. Now here is your IR uh, for your receiver. You do have a couple cables here, so this is gonna be your power, your USB. And the great thing about this, it's an all-in-one. So if you put this thing here to get your power, and you do have this little plug-in right here. Now you have that IR um, for that extension. So we're gonna plug this in just to test it out to be sure. And of course, we're gonna plug this guy in to have power. So really good stuff, lot, a lot of good things here, guys. And of course, one of the best things I absolutely love is when they give you some good batteries. So Energizer, great brand. Pop this guy open here at the bottom. 
and then plug it in just like this and then you are good to go now with the with the remote some people um they have a lot of mixed feelings with this i don't mind the remote um it does have a lot of buttons these buttons down here i probably will never use the numbers um but some people do like those numbers down there at the bottom it does feel like a giant remote um, when I do hold it in my hand, it does feel very comfortable. The one thing I do like, I don't know if you guys can tell though, is it does have um, lights. So I absolutely appreciate that, that it does have those lights there to use. So with all that being said, some of the stuff here that you have, you have your TV, this is your source, volume up and down so you can sync this with your TV. This is for your, your the device here that you can power it on. You got a favorites, categories, you got a magnifying glass here, pause, play, forward and backwards. You could record, since this has 128 gigs of internal memory, you have a lot of space in there. Plus, you could add a TF card slot to even add more space. So really good stuff. Everything here is what you need. You got your guide, your TV, your home. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but this is great. Now down here, I believe you can program these buttons to whatever you want. So this video, we're just gonna get into the specs to see exactly what it is. Now here we go, Buzz TV, and there is your, well, it's booting up, so just give it a second. And there we go, check it out, Buzz TV. I, I, I love their, their, like how this starts. Like it's very, cool looking i i like the bottom part it looks like there's like a sea of people maybe with like phones flashing around or something i don't know um but very very cool let it load up there it does take a second when you see that little buzz tv in the corner and it looks a little stretched kind of funny um but yeah it's great now let's let's get started so right here it says press the the okay and the minus so i'm going to go ahead and do that and it's going to start syncing to pair your remote press okay and volume buttons until they start flashing now it's a status remote's been found connected to the buzz tv one so very very nice here now if you do look here you got different types of languages and if you scroll up you got more so it's always defaulting i guess to english united states so um, lucky for me and it always defaults to new york eastern standard time so i got to come up here um, and look for Los Angeles. So there we go. And then the graphics card that I'm using um, is a 1080. So I'm going to go ahead and pick pick on that. So whatever options you get, that's what you get. You could fix your zoom here, connect to your Wi-Fi, and then just follow the on-screen instructions. Really, this is super simple. And there you go. That was very fast the way everything got in there. Very, very fast. Kind of cool because you're connected you're in and you're good now the one thing i will say is give it a few minutes um because it'll start doing a couple updates um what i like to do is i like to come here to update first thing i do when i grab a device is make sure it's all updated to whatever it needs so i go check for updates no updates found um closed and i should be good to go um now the only thing is with this black screen I know some people kind of don't like it. Some people do like it. There's something going on in the background. I see some kind of blue something. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure uh, what it is in the background, but I know they've had different images in the past. Um, so I, I really did like the 4900 um, image in the back. Is everything just popped and stood pretty good? But this is your basic standard screen. It's very simple. If you want to add something, you just come here to the plus sign. And from here, you could add whatever you want. So if you're just like, hey, I want to add my file browser, you just click on this. Do you want to add it? Hit yes. Hit the back button. And then boom, there it is. And then if you want to get rid of it, hit that plus again. Click on your file browser again. And it says, would you like to remove this? Hit yes. And then boom, it's gone. And then hit the back button and it's out of there. So let's go ahead and look at the specs and see what we got. So for me, I like to go to Chrome and I'm just going to do a simple Google search. There's this app called Ida64, and I'll, I'll go ahead and do this because I know some people will get confused with this. Um, as you can see here at the very, very top, it's kind of hard to see where exactly I'm going, and, and it's because there's no real cursor behind this thing. Um, so if I, I click to the left, and then the browser's right there. Now, if you do have any issues whatsoever, I'm going to go ahead and do this. On the remote, there is a uh, back button. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, an arrow button right there. That's for your mouse. So if you click on that, um, you should be able to get your little arrow right there that pops up. So 
I'm going to come here, come down, and I'm going to get into the tool, into the, into the web address bar. I'm going to click OK. And there you go. I did have to click it twice. I didn't register it the first time. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys there. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to just type in Ida. 64 and i'm gonna go and search for this now this app is again really really good um it just works amazing and i mean amazing amazing all right so here we go here's ida 64 and i'm gonna go ahead and use that little arrow again um and where to go there we go so it, it i just went too fast on it so i'm gonna use the, the little arrow guy and we're gonna get over here to uh downloads and let's just see if how this thing works so i'm gonna go ahead and hit okay now give it a minute you see top left hand corner it says um it's going through its cycle downloads and then this is everywhere where you can get it from so lots lots of different options here um to get it so here we go now i was having issues with the remote because there's still updates going on and i kind of like to like just go <laughs> you know so and uh ida 64 for android the we just need the basic one um there we go we're gonna go ahead and download it here and we're gonna download the apk you get it free on the google play store on ios you can get it pretty much anywhere so there you have it and here we go be careful with those ads they'll say download over here download over there right below it says download locations download.ida64.com um that's where you can get it so content needs needs access so a little bit of some hoops, but it's very, very simple to get on here. So just keep that in mind. Now, once you do get it, it says, are you sure you want to keep this file? I'm going to hit OK. It's fine. Give it a few minutes. Now, if you do, for whatever reason, back out of this thing, sometimes people will be like, oh, it's it's downloading and then it's done. So it just said, OK, I just hit my own, my home button. I'm like, oops, where do I find it? What happened? Where do I go? So go to all apps. And as you can see here, I don't see Ida 64. Go to your file browser and go to local disk. Now this is going inside your device. Now come over here to download and there it is, Ida 64 APK. And again, a great, great tool to have to show how, what your, your specs are for your device. This is a free tool. Um, and again, you can get it on Google Play Store and on iOS. Now it will say done, so I'm going to hit done and I'm going to just back, back, back all the way out. Um, and there it is at the top, Ida64. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what it is. So M Logic is the chipset. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I love M Logic and the model is the VidStick Plus Max. Um, I'm not familiar with Faraday. Faraday? Faraday? Not really sure. Um, RAM, you got four gigs of RAM. Now it is advertised at 128 gigs of internal storage and you're left with about 108. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of storage there. Now you do get Bluetooth version four. Now, as far as your CPU, now this is the good stuff. This is the stuff that I really like to get um, into. It looks like it's running a quad core ARM Cortex A53 um, with 64 bit, which is not bad. You got your 1920 by 1080. That's the the graphics uh, the graphics card that is reading it by right now. My capture card. Uh, GPU is the Mali G31. So again, pretty pretty good. For Android, just to confirm it, it is running Android 9. Now the device is not rooted, uh, so you're gonna have to do some work if that's what you're trying to do. Um, and then as far as the codex goes, this is for me my favorite part. Um, codex. Now check this out again stuff that i like so for your decoder on your audio side you got your mp4 your ac3 3 gpp you get your dts hd that is awesome that is great um that's one thing i know for people looking for surround sound uh dts hd is a great one to have a la m la opus raw vorbis you get all the standard ones now when you get into your video um, you got your M-Logic um, awesome decoders. So H.264, which will give you that 4K. Um, you also got your AVS, AVC. Uh, you got Dolby Vision, which is another great one. 263, MPEG-4, RM10, 20, 30, 40, VP8, 9. Like, look at this thing. This thing is, is just awesome. So 
Um, stay tuned pretty soon because I am going to show you guys exactly how this thing works. Does it work? I know the question always is, does it work? Right now, it feels very smooth, very crisp. It is is just a great, great, great device. There's so much power on this thing. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any issues, go to buzztvglobal.com. Shoot them an email if you guys have any issues. I know people sometimes say like, hey, I don't know how this works. Join their Facebook. Join their Twitter. Join their Instagram group. Um, they have a really like th th they're everywhere and their tech support is amazing. And if they have, if you have any issues, shoot me an email and I want to know what kind of issues you're having. Cause every time I talk to anybody about their tech support, it's always been positive feedback. So yeah, with all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys. Bye.